your way out the door. 66 degrees by 7 o'clock with a slight chance for some showers to roll through. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder. Uh, 64 degrees at 9 o'clock and we'll get down to about 59 degrees uh, at 11 o'clock. Let's show you uh, your forecast for tomorrow, 49 degrees in the morning, and we'll get up to about 55 degrees by lunchtime. And highs tomorrow will only be about 63 degrees. And again, it'll be a little bit on the breezy side with those winds out of the west. Here's Live Doppler 2 HD, our network of radar scanning the skies for you. And we are picking up some rain, which may be moderate at times, especially here in a Greene County. You can see north of Greenville, just to the south of Ansonia, we do have a lightning bolt there. So may again hear a few rumbles of thunder, may see some darker skies. And then another chance of some rain pushing through into Wayne County, Indiana. This is all moving off to the east here. Uh, this will continue to push eastward here. Here's Eaton. So a chance for some showers here as we go through the early evening hours. The cold front just to the west of us. And even though we saw a lot of sunshine today, we have the clouds moving through. So the clouds will increase tonight with the chance for some of those showers. The cold front again just off to the west of us. You can see Dayton here. We have those winds out of the south and southwest at 20 miles an hour sustained. But then over in Muncie, the winds are out of the west. So that's where that cold front is. That's where we're seeing the showers and even a few rumbles of thunder developing. Now that front and all of those winds out of the south and southwest kind of to 79 degrees today, officially at Dayton International Airport. Our normal high for this time of year is at 65, so we are going to be closer to normal for tomorrow. Here's other area temperatures 77 to 75 degrees, just changed in Bell Fountain, 77 in Urbana, still at 79 in Springfield, and 77 right now in Springboro. Future track forecast shows that we are going to see a chance for some of those showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder through the early evening hours. Here's the picture at 8 o'clock, and then by about 10, 11 o'clock at night, that rain will be off to the east of us. We begin to see partly cloudy skies move through the overnight hours. And by tomorrow morning, we'll see some sunshine, a mix of sun and clouds as we go throughout the day on Tuesday. So your forecast for tonight, we'll see lows down to 49 degrees, some showers uh, and even a few rumbles of thunder possible. It will be breezy with partly cloudy skies. And for tomorrow, highs only near 63 degrees, partly cloudy, breezy and cooler. Those winds out of the west at 10 to 18 miles an hour. In your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, we are going to see uh, 63 degrees for the day tomorrow. And if you are going to be uh, maybe wanting to go out and see some of the changing leaves here, we are seeing John Bryant State Park, Houston Woods, and also Caesar Creek, seeing those uh, leaves beginning to change there, still on the green side here at Indian Lake. But 63 degrees for your Wednesday, so if you want to do some leaf peeping there, 68 degrees on Thursday. And then as we head into the weekend, we'll see a chance for some showers on your Friday with temperatures near 60 degrees. And watch what happens over the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I have low temperatures into the 30s. So it is possible that we may see our first frost heading into the weekend.